Hi, I'm Walker. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we'll be looking at the polishes that I'm really excited to wear in May. So the way that I'll do these videos is I'll pull together a couple of the color families that I'm excited to wear. Um, so I might have more polishes that I'll actually wear in a month, but I try to think about you know, what does this month say to me? What kind of colors do I want to wear? Um, for May, I was really looking for some some of those kind of summer transition colors, so a little bit brighter. Um, I'm looking to celebrate the fact that it's finally warm outside. We had a really long winter. Um, and then I do work full time in May, Monday through Friday. So I'm also looking for some neutrals um, or more work appropriate polishes that I can wear. Uh, I like to wear polishes even to work even my neutrals i like them to be really something exciting and beautiful uh, the first color group that i'm really excited to wear in may are some corals um i love coral I, I like wearing a pink i like wearing a red but i think corals are a really beautiful in between shade um especially for may especially for you know some of these warmer months I like the whole range of corals. I like pinky corals, orangey corals, reddy corals, um, but I picked some that I from my collection that uh, I haven't worn, and so I'm really excited to get them out. Um, you can see this one is a little bit pinker. This is Wendy. Um, this one that's a little bit darker, um, almost a bit, almost like um, watermelon, almost. Uh, this is Elodie, and then up here, this one's a little bit more peachy, um, and this one is Maya. So Maya, Elodie, Wendy. Three very different but very beautiful pinks. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen some swatches of my second color family that I'm excited to wear in May. Um, and these are my blues. I think blues are a really great warm weather polish. I think they're kind of surprising. People expect you to wear, you know, bright pink and red, and I think blues can be really beautiful. I do have um, like gray blues that I like to wear more in the winter cooler months. Um, and I also have, uh, you know, darker navy kind of metallic blues that are nice for the fall. Um, but these are my brighter blues and I, I'm excited to get them out in May. Um, the one on the bottom here is actually on my nails right now. This is Yummy. And then as we go up, we have Rocky, which is a little bit more of like a robin's egg blue. And then we have Robin, which is not a robin's egg blue. <laughs> it's a little more turquoise. Um, this one's super bright, super fun. And then Mallory, which looks really dark compared to these other ones, but um, you know, when you see a swatch, she's much, she's really bright, super pigmented, um, really gorgeous. So excited to get these out. Uh, so like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I've already swatched a couple of these and worn a couple of these. Um, I am planning probably in June, I'm planning a couple blues comparison videos. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, they'll be on the channel soon. The other blue that I'm going to try and get on my nails. Um, this one's really interesting. This one is Phoebe. And Phoebe is a discontinued polish. I, I think she was released in 2011. She was in the Mod Matte uh, collection. There were three of them. There was a green, a pink, and a blue. And honestly, everything I've read about this polish <laughs> said that the formula was awful, like terrible. Um, but the swatches that I've seen are beautiful. Um, I love, love matte polishes. I think Zoya does a really nice job. Um, this one though is a neon matte. Matte can be tricky, neon can be a tricky formula, so put those two things together, we'll see. Um, if I can kind of fight through this and get a good swatch for you, I'll let you know. Um, but I'm, I'm excited. I found this on eBay um, in a lot with a bunch of other polishes, so I bought it um, just to see if I can figure out how to make it work. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the neutral polishes that I picked. And as I mentioned, I do work Monday through Friday in May, so um, I wanted to pick some neutrals. But it's still May, it's still an exciting month, so I tried to pick some fun ones. Um, the first ones that I picked for my neutrals for May are some kind of glittery, sparkly ones. Um, these are two like nude polishes from Zoya that are glittery and metallic. So this one is Jules, and I've actually never worn this one, um, but it's described as a nude metallic. It looks a little champagne-y, you know, the swatches that I saw look like I could totally wear this to work. This one is uh, Godiva. This is a pixie dust. It's got a lot of silver shimmer in there, but it really dries very close to this kind of um, champagne, like butter color. It's it's really pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna wear those to work. And then the neutrals that I'm definitely gonna get on my fingernails this month are some of these dusty mauves. Um, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I've actually already shown several of these because um, I think they're 
fabulous. This is like my favorite uh, nude shade for my skin tone. I love them. And I have some here that have a little bit of shimmer and some that are just creams. Um, the Dusty Mobs are actually going to be the first comparison video that you'll see up on my channel that should be up um, before the end of May. So subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, I'll talk more in depth about, you know, which ones have what kind of shimmer or which ones are cooler or warmer or more pink. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to get those swatched because I think it's a color that a lot of people really like. My favorite with some shimmer is Charity. And you can see she has that gold shimmer kind of all the way through. Um, she's a really pink base, um, so not quite as dusty as some of the others, but just a beautiful, beautiful polish. Um, again, totally fun, but totally neutral, so good for work. And then the cream in this color family that I, that I have in my collection that I really like is Bridget. Um, she's she's really pigmented so i think um the one that i see a lot of people wearing is rue i like rue too but rue is a little bit um less less mauve less pigmented um and so she's a little bit more neutral bridget is really pretty and still has kind of a pack she still kind of packs a punch of color so i really like bridget Awesome. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, these are the polishes that I'm planning on wearing in May. Definitely stay tuned for um, a couple more videos coming up before the end of the month. Uh, one will be an unboxing of my Zoya Earth Day order. Um, I actually just placed that on the last day of the sale on April 29th, so it's coming soon. Um, and then as I mentioned, I'll have a couple comparison videos. So I'll have that Dusty Mauve comparison, and I'll also have um, a blue comparison coming up soon. So stay tuned and keep your eye out for those videos. Thanks so much.